company is on a mission to revolutionize mental health care by delivering powerful and effective new psychedelic based therapies that are accessible to all. Some people, um, some people laugh when we talk about revolutionizing uh, mental health care. It, it is a strong word, uh, but I think it's appropriate in this case. You know, we've, we've seen very little innovation in psychiatry for the last two or three decades. And uh, current treatments like SSRIs work for some people, uh, but for many, they're, they're not effective and they come with side effects and often take quite a long time to work. So what is really revolutionary about uh, psychedelics is the potential for these treatments to work very, very quickly uh, for addiction and for, and for depression and other uh, indications, but then have a durability effect that could last for potentially months at a time from just one or two doses. And we're doing that through a couple of different ways. So we have a, a psilocybin program poised to begin phase two studies for depression. And we're attacking the fast onset and the short duration uh, goals by developing a, a sublingual film formulation. So this is essentially a strip uh, loaded with uh, psilocybin that would be placed under the tongue uh, and it would get directly into the bloodstream to the site of action very rapidly and not have to go down through the GI tract and through the liver, which takes a long time, but also you lose 50 to 60% of the active drug that way. So it's a very inefficient way to deliver psilocybin orally. Uh, so uh, we hope that that will deliver that formulation of psilocybin a faster onset and shorter duration. For our two other programs that we have that are active, one is for alcohol use disorder and the other for anxiety disorders, uh, which is probably the most prevalent health, uh, mental health disorder globally. Uh, here we're taking things, uh, tackling things from a slightly different point of view. Instead of using just drug, de drug delivery, we're also using medicinal chemistry. So instead of taking long acting treatments like psilocybin and trying to make them shorter, which is kind of hard to do, we're, we're starting with very short acting psychedelics, tryptamines, sort of like psilocybin, like DMT in, in their structure. And we're, we're extending their duration in the body. So we're taking them from being perhaps a 10 to 15 minute duration to that one, one and a half to two hour duration using a process called due duration. It's simply put, it's a way to stop the molecule being broken down so quickly in the bloodstream and therefore it lasts longer in the body. So instead of a quick spike up and down in 10 or 15 minutes, we're looking for a smooth curve uh, that uh, reduces that, the spiky side effects and extends the duration for patients to something that's optimal, again, that fits within that, that clinic model. I know you bring over 30 years of experience in healthcare, which I think is so important given sort of the path that Cybin is on. So I wanna understand a little bit how you've been able to utilize that experience to help really set the foundation here for Cybin and really create the path forward here for the company. You're right, I've been in healthcare for 30 years, so uh, really all, almost all that time in pharmaceuticals. Uh, much of my background was in business development and M&A uh, in Europe and the US and in Asia. So uh, lots, of, uh, lots of things I've been exposed to, very fortunate there. Um, in the, for the last dozen years or so, though, I've, I've run four different uh, pharmaceutical companies as a CEO, uh, two of them public, two of them private. And I think in this space where we've started out initially, if you look back a couple of years, uh, with a lot of these uh, companies starting out from a, a non-pharmaceutical base and gradually having to transition, uh, coming into Cybin early uh, with that experience and building a team that has really deep pharmaceutical experience and experience developing psychedelics. So part of our team uh, was responsible for developing esketamine, the molecule that eventually led to Spravado uh, with J&J. So our team overall has experience developing pharmaceuticals and psychedelics and bringing them, bringing them to market. Given where we are now, you know, maybe can you outline where you see things going here over the next year to two years for the company? For Cybin, we're ramping up our clinical programs. We have uh, two preclinical pre programs for anxiety disorders and depression that are progressing very well. And we expect to be in first in man studies in the first half of, of 2022 for both of those programs. And that would be big milestones for Cybin, having gone from really the discovery or creation of those molecules into first in man studies in about a year, which is extremely fast. And then for our sublingual film formulation of psilocybin for depression, we are, we've been approved to begin a phase two study uh, for that and we in two parts, a phase 2A and a phase 2B. And the first part of that, the phase 2A, is really designed to tell us what the dosing should be for the sublingual film and also what that pharmacokinetic profile will look like. Will, can we deliver the faster onset and the shorter duration that we're hoping for? We should get that those results right around the end of this year, so really not very far away from that.